We hit the go live. We hit the go live. Hello. Hello, YouTube. Hello, you Ranger Nation. Oh, hi, everyone. Welcome to the Ranger Week in Review for November 15th, the 110th Ranger Week in Review. Uh, my shows are now rated 14 and up due to probably language and or drinking, definitely and drinking. And I'll probably say bad words at some point. Thanks, YouTube. So how are you guys doing today? Uh, it's been it's been a week, guys. It has been a week. Power Rangers guy, long, long time no see, long time no see. Go check out his channel. He was at Ranger Sub also filming a bunch of stuff. He got some interviews and stuff up. He had the panel. We were both on together, so don't... Uh, don't forget to check that out. Uh, what's up, Toku Kid? Uh, Jose Lopez. I have, I'm gonna guess you meant beer. What up? What up? Twin sister, Ryan Cross, Z Dragon. What is up, Xavier Snowden? Moira. Thanks for sticking around. Hopefully, you get to hang out for a little bit. Uh, what's gonna happen to Power Rangers official channel on YouTube? Uh, probably. I mean, they're still gonna do it. They're still. The Power Rangers official channel on YouTube has already, um, they disabled their comments, um, over a month, a while ago, maybe like two, two weeks, uh, two months ago or more, um, so they already disabled all of their comments, it's, I mean, it's gonna suck if you liked getting notifications of their stuff, um, but I don't know, man, I guess a little less revenue for them, but I don't know. How was Ranger Stop? Ranger Stop was amazing, and, uh, I feel like I'm finally, like, recovering a little bit from it. Uh, WWE Master, my week is cool, got a new Power Rangers book, just ate some dinner. What'd you get? Like, comic book or the, uh, like, ultimate visual history or something? That's always fun. Uh, a hit is out of 23 USA-only Ranger suits, this includes everything for the Power Rangers franchise. I must have missed something of what that meant, too. I saw that again. Did you hear about Wave 5 and the Yellow Ranger figure? Yeah, you got some images. We're going to talk about that a little bit. Sup, Johnny? What up? Welcome, welcome, Cody. Thank you all for hopping in. Um, I guess I should do, like, the actual decent social media thing and, like, you know, retweet and, oh, that Ultimate Ranger History book. That is great. It is gorgeous. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and blah, blah. Look at that, guys. I can't social media sometime. I'm live now. I even put an exclamation point in it. You know it's legit. Guess what I'm playing right now? I'm going to go with Battle for the Grid. Or Legacy Wars. Both of them have some really good stuff. I'm going to definitely be talking about Legacy Wars. Uh, Beast Wars Exor up for 20 years, right? Isn't that amazing? Uh, have you seen Power Rangers Shattered Past? I have not. I've heard of it. And I remember seeing, like... I saw, like, an image of it. But no, I have not. Uh, whatever. Not to be in a jerk, but it's the FTC. Yeah, it's... Uh, at this point... I decided that I should look up exactly what it is, but I, I'm i just mad at them, so they don't deserve that respect. Um, <laughs> to me right now. Um, Ranger Stop was wrong. What is it? Mom. Mom Sword? Mom Sword and Shield, maybe? Nice headband, Liz. Looking good for you. Thanks. You know, if I don't, you see the rest of my hair? You could, like, start seeing some Ranger Keys through my blonde hair right now, so I had to, uh... I had to do something about that. Uh, what would be my top 10 23 USA only Ranger suits? Uh, I'll think about that. But definitely the Bat Ranger from Jungle Fury. What is up, Moira? Thank you for the Down and I super appreciate that. Have a great weekend. You too. Thank you for always giving me that that motivation and stuff uh, through the week. I really appreciate that. Um, well, then, well, then there's that too from... From Larry, this is gonna take a little bit to come through, but I, do you guys, Larry, what's up, man? How are you doing? Is that uh, I have, I have something for Larry. I'll show all of you guys right now. When I went to Ranger Stop, had uh, 
Mr. Larry and I worked out a shipping arrangement, and uh, and this is his that I need to get shipped back to him. Uh, yeah, so that was Mr. John Tui. He shipped this to me. It's uh, it's it's really awesome. And meeting him in person was he was just awesome. He was just he was absolutely great. Hey Keith, what's up? Keith's uh chilling, chilling. Orange Ranger, how you doing, buddy? I don't think I uh, actually said hi to you. Post Pokemon Shield. Call mom, mom. Haha, <laughs> the British version. Or whatever else. Uh, Postman Tad. Good. What is what does the Postman have as Pokemon? Are they like delivery birds? I see that. Yeah, Tenso is always back there creeping. We just don't we don't we don't talk about Tenso too much. Uh, yeah, so how about, uh, just a bajillion, bajillion thanks and everything for all of you guys coming in. I know I think a lot of us have had YouTubers, um, the people we watch, uh, just our friends in general, I think have all had a really bad week. Um, and Deli Bird, yeah, of course it would be Deli Bird, right? Um, yeah, it's, I think just right now, um, a lot of us are just a little lost. We're not really sure what's going on. And it's the uncertainty, I think, that's getting it. I've tried. I mean, you know, I've been I've been trying to be focused. I've not tried to let it worry me and whatever. And, um, yeah, it, it just hit me, like, two days ago um, that, you know, uh, like a lot of us, it's like everything you've worked really hard for could be changed drastically without, you know, anything you've done wrong. So we're still, I'm not giving up, you know, I'm not giving up without a fight. I'm going to see what I can do, but believe me, I also don't want to be sued, so what do you do? What do you do? But we're not done yet. The world needs us, Rangers, somehow, some way. The world needs us, so we're going to be doing that. Uh, check your local targets. Thank you, Lance Davis Jr. Wave 3 Lightning Collection are hitting the stores. I have been seeing some people with their pictures with uh, yeah, from Target, so go ahead and check that out. Well, kind of, yeah, as Orange Ranger said, we're all just chucking through some BS right now. Eyes forward, heads up. We just got to go with it, right? <laughs> uh, this is my favorite way to spend my Friday. Thank you so much, uh, Christian. I, I appreciate that. Tenso is moving a solar panel. He's uh, he's out there dancing. Him and uh, Rowan and I need to just learn how to, uh, how to rap and have a good day. Perhead past my computer science midterm. Best of luck to you! Uh, your videos help relieve my stress. I love them. Thank you. Thank you. I think, um, well, the new kids' content policy that's, uh, I'll talk about that in just a second. Have you got any Kamen Rider Gates in GameStop yet? Uh, no. I haven't, no, I don't have any Kamen Rider Gates stuff, uh, coming. The only Kamen Rider thing I actually have on pre-order right now is the Zero One, uh, fig work from Bluefin. Who's, who's doing that import as well. And then, uh, what do I think about the policy? I think it's kind of bullshit. And, um, <laughs> I get why. And, and as I, I've said a million times, guys, I, I understand why something had to be done. I just think this was, I think it was a bit much, man. Uh, it was, I think they've just gone a little bit too far, and, uh, we'll see how this all goes. Um, I said, I said the example once, I'll say it again. I'm actually getting ready to start checking up uh, all of this. Let's start getting some of our first topics for the day up on the screen. Um, yeah, I, I just think they were too far. Cause it's not just, I, I mean, it might be our toys. It's any toy reviewer you, you watch. Any toy reviewer. Um, it's, uh, it's just going to change everything. The fact that there's no, you know, uh, no chats and stuff in it. I... Uh, you know, it flagged and uh, took all my comments away from my Beast Morphers uh, Morpher review, which um, that I did a giveaway, and the giveaway was leave a comment, because that's how you interact with people on YouTube. That's the point of YouTube. It's not just network TV where you just consume it. It's, it's YouTube. You connect, you know, and that connection is what drives me to be here, to be a content creator and to want to talk with you guys is this real-time interaction of, well, what do you think about it? Well, what do you think about it? Let's, let's have a discussion. And, um, you know, if, if enough stuff, like I had to mark this video not for ages 13 and below, because if it was, at least in January or whatever, I don't have live chat anymore. 
so you guys can't just chat with me, I guess. We, well, we have a, a long Twitter thread or something. I have no idea, but this is kind of how it's, uh, this is kind of how it's going. And yeah, I mean, as I said, I'm, I say I'm on both sides of it because I understand when I'm, when I'm watching a video made for a two-year-old on a channel made for two-year-olds on a playlist made for two-year-olds, they shouldn't sell ads of the Wu-Tang Clan movie or Katy Perry music videos. Those are, th those are 14 and up, you know, and it's stuff like that. YouTube got greedy. They sold out all the info they could. They didn't, I mean, I, I blame both the FTC and YouTube on this. They're both very guilty. And at the end of the day, um, we're all, we're all hosed. <laughs> We're all hosed. We'll figure this out. I just got my Shadow Grid Deluxe Edition. How do you like it? That just came out this week. I was going to mention that uh, in comic stuff, but that did just come Well, it came out last week in comic stores. If you get them online, Shadow Grid Deluxe has came out. I did get Disney Plus so far. I've watched three episodes of Gargoyles. I've watched, with, with the kiddo, I've watched Toy Story 2 and 3, because we only had one. So I watched Toy Story 2 and 3 and Frozen. And a bunch of other fun stuff. So we're having a really great time. Doomsday, today's your 15th birthday. Everybody in the chat, please give it up for Mr. James Day. Happy 15th birthday. Thank you also for telling me it is your 15th birthday and not your 13th because then I'd have to tell you to leave. I mean, <laughs> but happy birthday, man. I hope, I hope uh, you have a fantastic day. Mandalorian episode 2 is out. I haven't watched any of those. Um, yeah. Uh, fan film creators, I have no idea, man. It's just... It's just, nah, switch to Twitch. Yeah, it's, no, that's a, that's a very real possibility for me. That's a, I don't want to say, like, plan B or whatever, but, uh, yeah, moving to Twitch is absolutely a possibility for me uh, when it comes to just being able to live communicate with people. Um, I think it'll be harder to kind of build the same community because YouTube and Twitch just are primarily a little different, and seeing as how I'm just doing, like, more just chatting stuff about a specific brand, and I also, um, you know, I'm not really good at video games, but we'll go how that is. Okay, so there's 34 of you in here. Without further ado, let's just get into this, guys. Whew. Should I do this? Should I do the thing again? <clears throat> I'm ready. <sighs> the Ranger we can review and all subsequent Ranger Liz videos are rated at ages 14 and up. Thanks, YouTube. Alright, that'll, I'll probably have this entire video demonetized, that's whatever at this point. Uh, let's talk about the Power Rangers, guys. Uh, we have oh, the caffeine app, yeah, there's that coffee app, too. Um, last week we had a brand new episode of Beast Morphers, it was called Gorilla Art, I didn't even watch it until Wednesday. Uh, it was kinda, I liked it, I liked it. It moved forward, we got Vargoyle, which, I mean, you'd think I'd have a lot more pictures right here. Um... No, Cody Wilson, no, sweetie, no. Um, I would love, I would love, 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 love to see a show of hands of everybody who's like, if you say, it's just because parents are think you do as a babysitter. I really want to know if you have kids or not, or if you actually had to watch children. Because if you want to say, me letting my daughter watch YouTube for 20 minutes while I'm cooking dinner, instead of Paw Patrol or whatever. Come on, man. I'm not thinking that's a YouTube, I'm not thinking that's a babysitter. It's a, it's, a, it's a TV show made for children just like everything else. Come on, come on. Don't play that card, not here. Just saying, not to the person who has. Um, I've seen Go Busters, I really liked it. YouTube is definitely gonna regret 2020, uh, especially everybody's gonna move to Mixer on Twitch. <laughs> there we go. So, yes, I didn't watch it until Wednesday. It was really good. I liked the art. I liked that he finally opened up to it, and it did probably set it up for him to have his mom like his art a little more. I, of course, haven't reviewed it yet this week. Um, I walked in. I, I landed. I left Florida, and it was 78 degrees or whatever, and I landed, and it was snowing and ice, and then uh, my daughter was sick. Like, when I got her from my parents, she was running a fever. She was sick, and then my husband got sick. Basically, today was, I, I managed to take, like, a two and a half hour nap, so, feeling a little better. Oh, and this is my inner gym, by the way, that I bought at Ranger Shop. Keep that one close to the chest, right? So, we did get Vargoyle. Vargoyle is, uh, he's smart. Now, I saw something, 
And I, of course, uh, it was actually more about who's voicing Vargoyle. I'm going to mention that one real quick. So Jamie uh, Linehan, who voices Steel, is also going to be voicing or is voicing Vargoyle, which is really funny because if you see the episode, they fight. And so just know that, like, it's the same guy voicing both characters in the fight, which I think is really funny. Oh, I stole it directly from Coda. I ripped it off his frozen caveman butt. Uh, so I see this line, and I think it was from, like, the Ranger Wiki, um... But I'm going to, you know, so it says, uh, and I may have missed this because I had to watch it with, like, you know, kids and running around and stuff. In early creation of Scrozzle, Vargoyle turned on his creator once he started using the Fury Cells on himself, becoming equally more powerful and more evil. The Tronics were created by Scrozzle to protect himself from the strength of Vargoyle. Well, we knew about the Tronics, but I didn't actually know, and so maybe if some of you guys did catch this in the episode and I didn't, was that Vargoyle was an early creation of Scrozzle's? Um, and I'm not sure about that. If, you know, if Scrozzle's in the chat right now. You rangers are going down! Um, I didn't give him a Bronco Burger for anything. I ripped off his coat, I stole his energy, and he was left very confused. Because I'm mean like that today. Mean. I need to do, uh, you be my ass in Family Feud. You're welcome. I, uh, well, thank you. I had a blast playing Family Feud. I did, and I, I think because there were some people who were like, um, I don't know, I, I hope people had fun, and I had a blast, but I also, like, got to play the game and stuff, and, yeah, that, that was a lot of fun. So, next week, um, to be on this show, one day, maybe I will ask Campbell Cooley, he lives in New Zealand, though, so it's, uh, Toku Chris, what is going on in here? Hi, Toku Chris. Um, let's see, I'm talking about Vargoyle being the same voice actor as Steel, uh, this, how he's ripped it off of Coda's, uh, frozen cold chest along with his, uh, whatever, and that YouTube can eat it. That's, yeah, that's, that's probably about it. Thank you, thank you, Orange Ranger Videos. He actually watched, um... He actually watched the episode Saturday morning, unlike me. He's like, you literally sent out a tweet reminding people on what channel it was on. And I'm like, I forgot. I had to make the Ancient Rangers panel at 9. Vargwell's ass, man, I hope. I hope, man. Stuff. Uh, home from a co-worker's baby shower. Minnie Mouse and Pink Ranger theme. Those are two amazing themes right there. So what is up, Pen Blade? Welcome in. Where's that Family Guy FCC musical when you need it? Uh, it's banned, actually. It's been blocked in all countries. Sorry. The user has been terminated for... <laughs> That's probably where it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's that. Next week, Miss Ravi... No, what's her name? I don't remember what her name is. She actually has a name. But the following clip that I don't have and I'm not going to show you because Lord knows I'll get it, but... um. There's a, a good popular celebrity comes to town. The Yellow Ranger's mom's going to interview her, yada, yada. Uh, I don't even remember exactly what the preview clip shows you. He also ate a burger in front of <sighs> She didn't really eat a burger. I think I ate a burger in my Coda cosplay this year. I didn't steal the Green Hyperforce Ranger's powers. You don't know that. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. I don't have anything green. Actually, I have a green bouncy ball right here. But it doesn't matter because green screen. So, yeah, um, celebrity, uh, the, uh, Muriel, Zoe's mom, doesn't find out the identity of the Power Rangers, but she has it on a disc. And that's all I'm going to tell you for the preview. I did actually watch it because I watched uh, last week's episode of Girl Art, and then I just watched it back to back with the episode that's coming out this Saturday. Because tomorrow I'm not going to get a chance to watch it live. Uh, I have to drive an hour and a half because I'm a country girl and I'm getting meat from a, a locker because cows went to the pasture and I get meat back from them. Thanks, Dad. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be making like a four-hour round trip with a giant, a massive amount of frozen hamburger in my trunk. Gas mileage is going to be horrible. Yeah, who remembers that Devin's dad is the mayor? I haven't seen him lately. I, I, we'll see him by the finale. We'll see him by the finale. I'm sure he will. Megazord headquarters will just... No ads. It doesn't help. Yeah, that's that's the problem. Um, 
in purple, oh, what's up, what's up, uh, and Hollingsworth, Ancient Purple, came to say hi, hello, I do have an interview with them that will be posted, when I, I have gotten to take, take a deep breath, so maybe Sunday I'll actually get to work on a little content, um, but yeah, I have an interview, uh, with them that you guys will be able to see in the next week or so, hi Liz, what up, we're so Rosano, you, from, from KZ, right, with the jersey? Is that you? Is that you? We had some fun Sunday night. Does Devin have a mom? <laughs> we had some fun Sunday night. Um, there was, there were drinks involved, and, uh, and Fira, Starani, and we had some fun Sunday night. I will, I will, I'll pull this up real quick. Oh, that's just true. Yeah, Devin does have a mom. Whether or not she's, like, alive or still there, but, yeah, yeah. He actually does have one. Thank you for pointing that out to me. Sunday night, I still don't believe that happened. Let me, I'll just, I'll just pull this up real quick. Um, one of my absolute favorite things on that happened at Ranger Stop was somehow, some way. Yep, that's your entire screen right there for a moment. Uh, very long story short, at the bar chatting, uh, ran into uh, Ferris, um, who played Nick, the Red Mystic Forest Ranger. Started having some drinks, started chatting about how much we liked the sun. And I was like, well, I'm gonna go outside and get some air and enjoy. Um, enjoy the sunlight, and he's like, yeah, let's all go out and get some sun, and, uh, he ended up buying us some rounds, and, uh, it was, from everything I remember, it's a night I won't forget, we'll put it, we'll put it that way, uh, maybe she got turned into a burger and eaten by Scrozzle, eaten by Liz, right, yeah, that was a few, we had a few drinks, we had a lot of laughs, um, Sean and I, Sean, we're doing your videos, he's one of the bottom right over there, uh, and then afterwards, we were like, it's just getting really, really crowded, and so we're like, let's just go over to this other bar that's still attached to the conference center, where we could actually just, like, sit and chat and stuff that wasn't, like, crazy, and, uh, Austin St. John walked in, and John Dewey walked in, <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, yeah, Austin St. John, um, bought a, a round, of shots for people so this was this was my uh part of my view on sunday also shout out if any of you who managed to see this one were were there no video no video of every of anything that happened but just some stills so that was bizarre i don't know and he had a, a crazy random other shot it wasn't just like a normal shot like he had to make like a shaker of of stuff but it was neat. He's using that con money. Yeah, yeah, man. Actually, no, I will tell you, uh, Ferris was the absolute most genuine, uh, we're out there having a, a drink and whatever, and I offer, I was like, hey, man, you know, what are you drinking? I was gonna get him a drink, because, you know, thank you for coming and whatnot. And he was like, no, no, he's like, I had to take all your guys' money for pictures and stuff. He's like, all I did was sign a piece of paper. He's like, no, no, no. And so he actually used his con money to buy attendees of the con drinks. Uh, because he was just, he's just genuinely a fantastic human being, and, um, uh, same with John Tooney, and, uh, just, those are the ones I actually got to really interact with, and, and they were fantastic, so, now that we've, we've chatted about completely not, um, stuff about Power Rangers Beast Morphers, that was gonna be a bit more things in the convention, uh, section, but that's alright. Let's get to the other stuff. Uh, in Ranger news in general, the toys that, whoops, not that, the toys that made us actually comes out. I wish they could buy me drinks. I'm only 20. I was, I don't know. Florida is practically international waters. I didn't ask anyone how old they were. He just handed me money and told me to go buy drinks. And I said, okay, I will do that. Um... He felt bad. I think he was only charging, like, 30 for a picture, and he still, he, like, he felt horrible charging money to people. He really did. He's like, I'm just here having fun and meeting you guys, and he was like a kid that got paid to go to Disney World, I think. He was having a blast, man. Uh, next year, man, Anna, next year, we meet up, and you are 21. I will, I will totally hook you up with a drink from Ranger Liz. On behalf of the Ranger We Can Review, I will buy you a drink when you're 21. Um... Yeah, 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 so, the toys that made us, I love the fact that they teased, they're like, 
why would Hein Saban take a risk on this wacky Japanese show? And I'm like, well, let me make this very short video for you. Money. Lots and lots of money. <laughs> I mean, he knew what Sentai was doing over there. I, yeah, I haven't gotten to watch it yet. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I don't want to stop I'm sorry, I'm reading something else about my channel, and so that's what I'm just saying thank you. But, um, if you haven't gotten to watch it, I've heard some people really liked it, some people were like, eh, whatever, but it's, but everybody who's seen it, whether or not they were like, ah, it was great, or ah, it was like, eh, they all enjoyed it enough, because it's freaking Power Rangers, man! Yes! It's Power Rangers! I want my green <laughs> Yep. Uh, the guy who played Kruger was in Hobbs and Shaw. He was also uh, Solaris Knight in uh, in Mystic Force, and he was on a, I don't remember what his character name is. He was in Battleship. Uh, we had a bunch of fun stuff. Should I just show off some? Oh, hold up, hold up, real quick. This is a super blurry picture. If this if this tells you what my Sunday night was like, it also meant that the lighting was horrible, and I honestly thought these were gonna turn out better, but everything is really blurry. But uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll see if. Uh, See if he's still in here and he notices what. <clears throat> we had some fun. We had some fun. Daggeron. Oh, I'm sorry, Daggeron. Gotta go, Cody. Sup? Sup, sup? That was. We had some fun. Yeah, yeah. We had some fun. Expose you. I myself shall watch the season three premiere sooner or later. Sooner or later. Uh, you got some questions, Donnie. All right. Um, I'm on Disney Plus watching a brand new episode of the Star Wars television show. I always avoid spoilers. Um, what are your thoughts on that new entertainment logo that's coming ahead? Uh, the logo I really haven't gotten to see much, but I remember seeing it and being like, meh, okay. Like, it's kind of vintage, whatever. And I actually haven't watched uh, The Mandalorian at all, so I have no, uh, I have no opinion on that one. Sorry. Uh, hello, Tony Zo. I can't wait to go to PMC. I hope I get to go to PMC, but, but I don't know. Uh, so let's see, yeah, Heim Saban, he just likes money, and, um, oh, and that's that. Let's move on, I got Disney Plus because I've, I've watched, like, Goof Troop and Darkwing Duck and, uh, Gargoyles, and it's just a lot of these cartoons, like, from when I was a kid, and I'm like, yeah, I'll throw up an episode, like, it was, like, for family time, you know, my husband and I and my daughter while we're living here, I was like, yeah, let's toss something like that on in the background, um, see if she likes it. She didn't really care either way. Uh, let's see, comic news, let's move on to comic news real quick, get rid of you, get rid of you, this is, this is live, yo, this is live, this is how I make this show, no, not really, there's usually much more of a script, especially because I shouldn't have shown you that picture yet, not that it's a spoiler, it's just, you know, this one is what I wanted to show you first, it is up for pre-order, I will have some links, uh, in just a bit, below if you want to go check out for the pre-order but that is up if you want to get in on the pre-order it's coming out on i clicked the wrong button sorry comes out on august 25th of 2020 1999 uh it's gonna be your standard paperback but it should be all of them one through five and oh that's not working awesome i'll have a link eventually um, do do do. Disney Plus, yeah. Come on. Um, yeah, I think uh, if the Disney era, I I doubt it because all the yeah all the ownership and stuff was was transferred to Savon, so Hasbro owns them now, and yeah. What did I win at the VIP dinner? If you guys, this is a little spoiler warning, warning, guys, if you are a pop fan and you don't think, where's he at? Oh, he is a creeper. Holy. Help me. Um, no, I haven't gotten the Ultra Sword 2. That takes like $160. I go to Ranger's Top. I can't afford that. Um, <laughs> if, uh. If you are a fan of Pops not ever leaving their box, you might want to look away. But this is what I won. Um, oh, I, I won a, a see-through. Look, guys, I got metallic armor training. 
and Jay's in, yeah, so I got, uh, all six of the Mighty Morphin Pops, not the, oh, not like the $80 ones or whatever, but. I did. I won the full set of pops. I actually was trying to be s smart or whatever because I was like, I don't have any room in my bag because I literally bought ten figure arts. I'm not joking about ten figure arts. Here's one of them. Uh, Flame Dragon. His suit is so nice. So I didn't really have a lot of room and I was like, well, I'm going to get these because I got a prize. And I was like, well, I'm going to get these Super Mega Force autographs because it was all six members of the cast. And I've only got to meet like two of them. So I was like, okay, you know what? This would actually be really nice. Just get all six of them. Uh, maybe do something, you know, with the whole cast having all of them. And, uh, and then it was Rob Your Neighbor, and so someone else was like, that's actually a really good idea, I don't have any bag space, and they ganked them, and so I'm here, I'm sitting here, I went from, I need, I literally need, I had told myself, like, Saturday, I'm not gonna buy anything else, unless it's, like, paper, and, uh, and I won these guys, and I'm like, so, uh, I had a little pop party in my room, uh, Saturday night after the VIP dinner, and we opened all of them, wait, so this is crazy, right? Look, ten, ten. So he's literally, guys. Look, I will eat your souls. Okay. I hope you don't get sued. I love your videos. Thank you. I also hope I don't get sued. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do everything I can. I'm gonna mark. You know, I'll mark my videos appropriately. I'll, I'll give my rating and my spoiler and whatever. And you know, we'll see. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. I think that dude, I think that guy didn't really want to sell it. Like, he said it was 150 and I'm like, I don't know. I need to be an ass. Yeah, you see the fact. Zordon figure arts. My game is, my guy, my game is still in the box. Yeah, Orange Ranger bought a guy and he bought his first ever figure art. And I was with him and I corrupted him and then I bought 10 because, um. Oh, what was in the mystery box? Will I continue to the next comic? Anna, uh, Ranger X, I'm not sure. Where did you send it to me? Um, I, admittedly, I really only check, like, Twitter and, uh, my email. <laughs> That's for Facebook. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Please send me something somewhere else. Um, I, I really only post, uh, links and stuff to Facebook. I actually just, sorry, me personally, I kind of really don't like Facebook. I just... I don't get on it. It's not my thing anymore, so I just kind of always forget, like, to we... help a sister out. Literally, my sister. All right, I gotta grab a drink, but Kelly, here's the long and short. If your videos are deemed to be for children, they will be marked as such for children. Now, well, at first, we thought it was going to be, okay, well, you, your revenue is going to change from you can have direct targeted ads, which you, of course, make more money on. You can only have generic ads. Um... So your, your income will go down. Okay, fine. You know, you, you find that out. And you're like, okay, well, there's there's other ways. You know, you can make up for that. But um, then they also are going to take away comments. So whenever I, you know, like to interact with you guys and I say, hey, what, you know, what are you most excited for? And I love, I'm sure you guys have seen, I really love, like, hurting all the comments to let you know I've read them and I appreciate them. And uh, comments will go away on uh, chats, live, live chat go away, uh, so, you know, no more super chats, uh, so income goes down, no more super chats, no more community, no more notifications, or to add my videos to, like, a watch later list, um, yeah, so, a lot of, uh, a lot of friends are changing, and, um, some are closing up shop already, because if you don't, if, if your fans don't get alerted you have new videos, if they can't comment on them, if you can't, sure is the whole point, so, all right, I'm gonna go grab a drink really, really quick, and I'll be right back uh, for more comic news, so, yeah, 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 what's in a Kicker Diva videotaped, god, how, wait a second, you can't be 20 years old when you said videotaped, okay, I just gotta say, um, I'll be right I'll be right back. Oh, the streets do start soon.
let's, <coughs> yeah. All of you too. All of us. It's shitty. It's shitty, there you go. <laughs> let's rock, okay. That was a uh, Ninja Turtle. I also have, and I'm sorry, I'm kind of like, Ugh. my mic's right here and it's blocking half of my screen. Um, so let's go all those. Yeah, Shattered Grid, that hardcover is out everywhere now. If you want to get it, 25. Wah, wah, wah. Main cover. Here we go. Let's talk about. I have a bad habit of t removing my name things up top. Google Power Rangers number 25 that did come out this week. The secret origin of the Omega Rangers continues as Jason and the Blue Emissary search for the new recruits to the only Power Ranger team to protect the universe in the fallout of Shattered Grid. Return of Tommy Oliver. If you want to um, check out some preview pages, I have a link for that up as well as I think by now you can probably find some <coughs> Sir, you not for kids. Well, most of the time, yes. However, the learning machine picked up and it already flagged a few of my videos so I guess I hadn't really like I haven't really talked about how my video specifically but yeah every like toy review I've done has already been flagged by YouTube that it's all for kids so yeah any uh, any uh, Power Ranger toy or whatever uh, that I reviewed is uh it uh, I Oreo Shark, thank you for the sub. E Oreo Shark? Maybe. I have not grabbed Sword and Shield. No, I, I suck at main series Pokemon games. Let's look at issue 45 real quick. Do I have... Man, I did it again. I'm telling you, comic news is never going to stay up. Uh, let's issue real quick 45 promo for that is up. Is it up? Is it up, guys? There it is. 45. This one's coming out on November 27th. Um, after they save their former teammates on Earth, blah, 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 Jason the Red Omega Ranger has to take it upon to get it with uh, Lord Zed. Not Lord Draken. Draken is ish. Whatever. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I am for, I'm, I'm for everyone, but I'd like to think, like... I speak and and we do things on maybe a higher level than like what a 12 year old would find interesting I don't think too many uh, people necessarily too many 10 year olds necessarily care about my themes of whatever in uh in the comics so uh, yeah yeah so go go Power Rangers real quick um, January is gonna be crazy because go go Power Rangers is gonna have two issues coming out uh, it's going to be 27 and 28, and one of them is definitely going to be talking about Rita and her time in the space dumpster, which was that picture that I had shown you slightly earlier that I was like, I don't want that one yet. It's that one. Time she spends space dumpster. Let me get out my super official Ranger Liz calendar, which is, uh, if this is a Google calendar that, uh, that I print out and then I scribble on. Let's see. Oh, also, next week, if I don't talk about this, an Ultraman, Ultraman Orb, and Ultraman Deed, both full series and movies, do come out on Blu-ray and uh, regular DVD available in uh, at least Amazon and uh, and not Shout Factory. Who who did it? I'll have to find. Um, man, I'm going to be mad that I can't remember who that's for, but sorry I'm late. I was pre-ordering my Wave 3 figures. If you're going to be late to a Ranger-related thing, might as well be for that. Uh, next, nope, I'm sorry, that's two weeks, yeah, the 27th is my work for 45. We have a lot of comics coming out, okay? In December, there are four Wednesdays, one of them is Christmas, the other ones all have comics coming out. January, four weeks in a row we have new comics. We have MMPR TMNT 2, Google Power Rangers 27, Mighty Morphin 47, and Google Power Rangers 28, and I don't actually have the calendar really filled out for comic releases up until February, but we have a lot of comics on the way, guys, and yeah, this is my super official uh, calendar, and then I put it in, because what do I say, when you get autographs, guys, you put them in these right here, and then you put them in a binder, 
if you're not someone who likes to frame them or, or to whatever, it's a really great way to not only hold them and store them, but then you can use it kind of as a coffee table book and like pull them out from time to time. I know I've, you know, when I mentioned I've like ranger autographs, people are like, wait, like who? And it's kind of nice. You just pull out a binder and be like, here are all of them. And then I also include some like convention knickknacks from where I've made them. Mill Creek, thank you so much, Common Rider Dino. They definitely deserve that shout out for the fact that they're doing this. Orb and Geed. Yes. I haven't, sorry, Geed. Not Geed. Geed. I'm learning. I'm learning. I actually made a note to myself that I will not forget that. Let's talk about gaming news uh, a little bit. Look, I can finally get rid of the comic news and not feel bad because I actually did mean to get rid of it. Let's move on to some legacy wars. Moves. Tony Izzo, thank you for the sub. I appreciate that. In Legacy Wars, three amazing things that are actually happening this week. One, <coughs> okay, not my cough, not my cough. <coughs> okay, thanks. Took a Chris for that uh, Patreon thing right there. Um, three big things. One, there is uh, update 2.7 is out. It's meant to address the balance of the Warrior meta. Looking into how um, they play, they really, uh, there's definitely some nerfs and buffs trying to make it to where there are more and more people that are going to be able to play different characters and just break up, you know, the, the constant meta as games, excuse me, as games constantly are doing. Um, moving on after that, we have Chun-Li morphs. Oh, I actually have a picture first. I'm going to talk about that one next. If um, they're currently doing a poll it's kind of a poll, kind of like, what you know, how do you feel about it right now? But if you have a Warrior or Megazord in this poll, I will have a link to it below after a bit, but it's a, a Google Doc form, and it has, like, ten Ranger spots. And I think you only really have to fill out, like, the first three or four. The rest of them are, are if you want, and then there are some Megazord uh, slots as well, or just kind of Mega Warriors. It's not all Megazords. I think some of them were, like, giant monsters and stuff. So, you could vote for any of them. Um, I know I voted, like, for Boom. I voted for some Hyperforce characters. I voted, uh, I think, like, for, like, Tenaya 7 and RPM. I don't know. I just kind of mixed it up and, uh, and got some fun ones. So, we had fun. Um, yeah, fill that out if you want, and you will help them decide on who you want the next Ranger to be. The next Ranger, who, yeah, Ranger, right, who is in Legacy Wars. Remember that time they did... Uh, Street Fighter and all of that team-up stuff, well, they back. They are back, and Chung Li now morphs into Chung Li Ranger, filled with the power of the Blazing Phoenix. Moves can set her opponent ablaze with Blue Phoenix Fire. I like that. While fighting a line, uh, alongside her comrades, I'll have a link to that, or just check out Power Ranger Legacy Wars on Twitter, PR Legacy Wars, and you will find some gameplay with that, as well as a little additional information um i'm pretty sure it can be lead and assist i didn't notice if it it didn't seem like i just saw the moves and i didn't actually see if it was like what rarity or anything and i didn't i don't think it's defense I, it's got to be either like balanced or attack um fill all of those out thank you so much to legacy wars oddly that's kind of it uh, i think battle for the grid season three started if you are in on the, the seasons I forgot, whoops, I forgot my merchandise header, that's, uh, you just can pretend, right, like, merchandise, right there, thank you, um, Joan Leaf looks like she'll fit right in with the Dire Rangers, doesn't she, that's a good look, like, I, they, they did that really cool, um, some targets are getting in Lightning Wave 3, yes. Remind people early, remind them often. Check your targets, guys. Uh, Orange Ranger, Legacy Wars, character survey is amazing. If you look through the list, all of the characters, and they do, because they don't even just have boom. They have, um, like in the coinless world, if you're a fan of the comics and you're really wanting to get one of the comic characters in there, there's a, t like, a skull, the Red Century skull is an option. Like, you kidding me? Man, do I really, did I not vote for him? Either way. <coughs> Either way. Toku Chris. 
I think Bat in the Sun is taking a break from anything Power Rangers after that failed Kickstarter. I would not argue with you on that one. Virgil is get an Udana Lightning Collection figure or a Gemma Lightning Collection figure. You don't know how fast I would cut a bitch for an Udana Lightning Collection figure. With that snow staff. You kidding me? That snow staff. And the helmet. And she has a cape. I want any of the Mystic Force Rangers. And that's actually a dumb question. I should have asked them in a panel. After being a superhero with a cape, and even though they weren't actually in the suits most of the time, their civilian costumes had cape, I want to know, on superhero costumes, are they team cape or team no cape? And I feel bad that I didn't actually ask, ask them that question. So, chat, I want to know, of, of all this other Ranger stuff that we're talking about, please let me know if you were team cape or team no cape. I... I think capes might kill you. I think I gotta be no cape. But a cape looks really cool. Maybe I'm like team um, long flowing cloak that I throw off before I actually fight or anything. I'm just saying. Team cape, team cape, streets is live. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, what is this? Thank you so much. It'll pop up in a, in a second. Thank you to Alan. I appreciate that. Wars, Street Fighter, now a thing again for the foreseeable future, and I wonder if there's a timeline where Super Mega Gia makes it into Street Fighter V. Don't you play with my emotions. <laughs> I would take her in anything. The crazy, the, the, the great, great thing about her, though, is like, even for Battle for the Grid, is still she's still my style. There's something about, it. like, the fighting with the, you, you can be ranged with her, you can be close combat, with the sword, not only with the sword, I could just, I, I could go on and on about, well, she's my perfect fit for a DPS character, but, but I would like to say thank you very, very much for the donation to the channel. It's helped me pay off a lot of stuff that happened at Ranger Stop, and this, uh, this, this drink right here is for you. No capes. Okay, oh, wait. Team Large Ass Collar. <coughs> Oh, like Aka Red? That'd be great. Capes look cool, but if I was a superhero, I wouldn't want one. Ooh, I would, I would like if they were made of fabric. Um, that'd be cool for Chia. Does anybody who have Magnet Defender, is that a hard plastic or is it uh, a fabric? I'm actually not sure. I haven't bought Magnet Defender. Um, so if any of you guys have Magnet Defender, could you please let me know? Because I have no idea. Hard plastic? Of course Chris would know. Of course Chris would know. If someone knows news before me, it's Toku Chris. That's, if, if I mean, I, I have to get my news somewhere. I'm usually never the initiating source, but it's usually him. Hard plastic, so it's hard, it's firm but supple, is what you're telling me. Is Wait, is this where the 14 and up themes start coming in? We're just going to get past that one. Whew, we're just going to get, we're, we're going to get past that one. Hey guys, look, it's Jack. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Cindy and Rupert. Dude, I love your name. I love you. You won, um, what did you win? You won something, and I can't remember exactly what it is. Uh, I believe it's fabric. Also, how was Ranger Shop? Uh, it was a blast. Uh, it, I just, there were so many just random running into people, saying hi, taking selfies. It was an absolute, um, it was just, it was, it was, an amazing, amazing time. And I was actually fortunate enough that because I, um, when I went to check in, they didn't have no capes. When, when I went to check in, I was like, hey, do you have any rooms available already? Because it was like noon, you know, and I could check in until four. And I originally had two double beds, but then since my roommate uh, couldn't make it, um, they were like, well, do you mind if we have a king size instead? We could get you one in now. Absolutely. So I really looked out and, you know, I just, I had my buddies, you know, Shuki and Chris and uh, Josh and, and everybody was just kind of like tossing their stuff on my bed. And my room just came like this, um, oh, I won the Ranger stop tickets, but I didn't go. Oh. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's how I was like, I know your name. I know your name, dude. Um, but thank you for the $2 for letting me that. No, I, I appreciate that. They should have a sky head because he was he was in one he in one. Oh, that one took a bit. That's a little delayed. 
right there. Little perfy stuff. I feel like I'm missing. I'm missing something because I'm seeing this dollar ninety nine from Larry. And does it not came through yet? But oh, there we go. There we go. Vibes surrounded with little purple stars. Thank you. Thank you. Also, this is. <sighs> Y'all make me feel like family. Just it's been a rough week, you know. And for a lot of us, it's been a really rough week, but. Thank you all so much. Um, and, and thanks, by the way, to uh, Toku Chris for the donation to Extra Life. If you notice, I will have a link below, but I'm constantly raising money for Children's Miracle Network, who, excuse me, um, they're, they're the Toku heroes for kids uh, all over the world. The kids get sick, they can go there, no bills, no whatever. Like, they get the expert care that they need. And, uh, yeah, so thank you for being a hero. For the kids. Um, maybe a bridge. I don't know. I'm glad they have Jack. So look, let's let's chat since I don't have my merch thing up. No, no. That was the zero one actor thing. I'm like, that's not it at all. Let's oh come on. Not Sky or Bridge. You Jack. I'm just gonna do this. Oh, there's spoiler, there's the fourth one. So I, I gotta give a big old shout out to probably you know, to maybe someone I shouldn't name, I don't know, you can say if I should name them, but for basically reaching out to Hasbro and going, guys, WTF, what is going on with these? You're totally telling us one thing and then another, and, and I don't know what's going on. Stay positive, Liz. Thank you, man. I, I really appreciate that, Larry. Please have a good day at work. Thank you. Um, so here we go. So we got, here's what I love, I guess, the most about the Red Ranger one. And yes, I have Blaze. I will show you that. Um, I'll show you that one next. But for a Lightning SPD Red, and I saw I'm going to accentu accentuate, I have no idea. Yeah, um, I did. I'm going to talk about that in Rider News Pimbley. But yeah, unfortunately, he was, um, man, I can't remember his name off the top of my head. I will find that. That's for respect for the dead. I, I will find his name. I do have it right here we actually had two uh passings in the world of toku um this week um his name was uh takaguchi oh sorry yukihiro takaguchi and uh yeah he was 34 he died of heart failure yeah yeah not good and all that <laughs> thank you very much and uh two dollars this is for the drink next year i promise you i will get you a drink that's worth more than two dollars because if you're not used to them you're going to want to drink the more than $2. After a few, you might not care as much. Um, SPD Red Ranger, here we go. Um, it actually has the actress portrayal, so there we go. Uh, we know that's going to be Jack. I know they showed the cosplayer before, and everybody was like, ah, about it. But here it is, guys. Fair. Here we go. Um... It is going to be him. That's great. I like seeing it. Um, so, kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Thank you, Centine Root Beer. $5. Are you going to get the 1-6 Kamen Rider figures? The 1-6 ones, like the Yudu ones? Or, no, 1-6. Can you clarify what 1-6 is? And it doesn't have to be in a super chat. You can just do regular chat, please. Thank you very much. But, uh, um, the 1-6 Kamen Rider figures. So, I got... I have, I have figure arts. His head is really wobbly, though, but he was $10, so, you know, I like cheap things, except liquor. No, nah, it's fine. I was in college once. Um, so we have actor's portrayal in that one. Uh, it actually is him that just gets rid of anything on the hands when it shows his hands, and it looks like he's, he's like, you know. Uh, it does say that they're going to be white. I think that was he is the only one that they actually say on the gloves white because in that render they totally totally looks great but you know he's coming with the parts i'm digging him i this wave is is going to be tough so let's talk about this totally not trainee right we had a lot of questions for them they answered it by saying hey we found these on the printer it was the schematics it was whatever these guys and then of course uh they showed this one they kept telling us uh yeah you know the these Hasbro reps didn't know what they were talking about, and I hate it because you you report on the you were like, look, a Hasbro rep told me this. I report on it. It is news. This is, you know, and and then they're like, no, they were wrong. I'm like, correction. Apparently, they were very uninformed, and here we go. 
Yes, it's probably going to be Mighty Morphin Yellow. They haven't revealed it yet. Maybe they're just waiting for something. Maybe they're waiting for, like, an anniversary. Maybe there's whatever. Um, I don't know. But at least should be... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I totally get you, man. Orange Ranger videos. He has a really great point. These copier sheets were kind of the their way of silencing the fandom and going, whoa, 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 like... We hear you, and we may have made a boo-boo, but we promise we didn't F up the figure. It's cool. We cool, we cool, and hey, and here's a little teaser for four, even though we didn't, yeah, so. Trini or Aisha? I think it's going to be Trini. I don't see them, because, I mean, they flat out said they don't want to put multiple heads in a box. So, yeah. Well, thanks. Thank you, Orange Ranger videos. I appreciate that. Um, new figurehead. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, we should get all three heads for OG Yellow. Nah, I'm not, nah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a Audrey Dubois, like, I don't know. She was in the pilot. Does the person who played, the, the person who was the pilot in the, for Willow and Buffy get a figure? I have no idea. I'm just being cynical right now. I'm trying really hard to stay positive. Um, but, you know, you guys are doing great, though. Uh, I wonder if that's the fourth sheet is all blacked out. Are they iffy on using Tweez image? Uh, I wouldn't... I wouldn't think. Would they be? I don't know. Both. Uh, but then I, but then I go, what do you guys think? Do you think, how would they release Aisha's head? To me, that screams, like, Ninjetti. Oh, God, please don't tell me metallic. I don't know. And that's the problem. I feel like they pretty much said we're only doing one head per figure. That is going to be... That is going to be the problem. Uh, rumor is they're including both. Please. Please, 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 please. That would be fantastic. No, she did not get a figure. 95 movie? That would? I mean, I... I, they could do the movie figure, yeah, yeah, you're right, guys. Um, Aisha from the 95 movie, I could see them doing lightning collection figures from the movie. They had different haircuts, they had different styles. Um, you know, the suits were, were obviously different, so thank you. Yeah, that actually is a really, uh, that's a really great idea. Um, hang on there, Lizzie, thanks, man. Um, do you guys is my Ranger family? Absolutely. We are family, like, we are a Ranger family, and it's cheesy, and it's whatever, but... I mean, you have a bad day, you can usually, Ranger Nation will help pick you up, and, and if they don't, you kick them in the butt! It just occurred to me, Ree Ranger and Chung Lee Ranger for Battle for the Grid? We'll see. Depends what they can team up with. I mean, if they're both by Enway, then they would already at least have a, a current partnership with them, so, maybe. That's why I feel like, maybe? That's what it is. It's a resounding maybe. Um, let's go, oh my gosh, we've, we've talked about, we talked about Trini, not Trini, or Aisha, we have no idea at this point, so let's get that. Actually, I named the file lightning-totally-not-trini.jpg, because, because, you know, it's totally not Trini. Let's talk about Rocky, he just wants to have fun, guys! Uh, yeah, they don't have to mention his gloves are white, uh, but I do love, like, the color palette on it. I do like they're showing you, like, weapon stuff, just little details, what might actually be painted. It does look like he may have lost his, um, specific, his weapon in it, um, but if that means more paint, you know, if they, if they can make the figure itself better, I'm kind of that, like, put that extra 30 cents towards the, the base figure as opposed to an accessory I might not use, but that's, I mean, that's just maybe me. Um, cause I can't paint anything, so what I get is what I get, and I'm usually more of a, like, well, I'll just pose the figures maybe with no accessories, so that's at least kind of where I fall in that, but to each their own, I know everybody has their own tics when it comes to, like, what kind of paint, you know, apps and stuff you want. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, astronomer, man, if it was astronomer, I would flip his head, I... I don't know, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this a little weird so I can kind of zoom in and you guys can see it a little better. This actor's portrayal, but I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I nah, nah. Okay, to to me that is 
definitely, definitely one of the weaker ones. Uh, actually, I guess while I'm talking about all these, I could mention. Um, so we did get the confirmed case breakdowns. <laughs> As I say, it's prob probably dream. It's probably dream. We got the confirmed uh, case breakdowns, and that would be uh, three Zeo Blue Rangers, two SPD Red Rangers, two Blaze, and one Mighty Morphin Yellow Ranger. So if you had a lot of fun trying to find Kimberly, guess what? You have even more fun trying to find Yellow. Meanwhile, Wave 5, these actually came out for solicitations, and, oh yeah, so with Wave 4, they've also now gone back and said it's going to be March, even though they were like, no, 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 it's not March, it's not March, they have it wrong, we're like, okay, dude, you know, these, these listings are wrong, sorry, Hasbro said it's, it's, it's not, it's not early, it's going to be late, and now they're telling us it's March 2020 again, so, yep, um, <laughs> You know, it, it's easy. You know, it's an easy way to fix uh, all of the helmets and stuff is uh, you just put the helmet on, you have him hold the civilian head. And it will look weird because you'll think he's decapitated. So, in the Wave 5, have I not even... Uh, let me get rid of Rocky, just wants to have fun real quick, and then I'll, I'll pull up Blaze a little better, and then we'll talk about Wave 5, so we got some information on that as well. Blaze clearly wins Wave 4. In my opinion. Actually, yeah. Uh, Megazord HQ, that is the one um, that I'm talking about. And so I'm also going to talk about uh, Gold Ranger. Whose head is it going to have? Is it going to have Jason's head? Or is it going to have a Trey head? Now, I know technically they have three different faces. But technically they are triplets. And these figures barely look like the people they are as is. So if we can get one that looks like one of them, I think that's fine. Or do you think it's just going to be Jason? Oh, wait, I want to see the Delphini triplets, or whatever their names are. Five points, and you went, Jason, I know, but can we please pretend for a moment, Toku Chris, can we please pretend? Do y'all remember, like, two years ago, three years ago? I have no idea. A long time ago, the triplets went on this crazy, like, I think they all took a strange shroom, and just things started happening. Um... One of the triplets. That's what I want, man. That's what I, I, I wanted to be one of the triplets because I admittedly kind of want to see Austin St. John explode. <laughs> because, because, just because I'm an asshole and I think it would be really funny. <laughs> no, man, but I do. I just, I, I think it would be hilarious. Just, and shit, oh, excuse me, if, uh, if it was the tw if it was one of the triplets, I'd say, John, like, what the fuck? Oh, sorry, these, these, these are the things, <laughs> these are the things, the man buys you a shot, no, I'm just, like, I, that was very nice of him to buy a shot, this is simply, again, because I think it would be hilarious to see his reaction. <laughs> you're here, man. He's already getting all these other lightning. Like, he's alright. But they're giving Jason mad love this year. So, yeah, it's definitely going to be Jason's face. But he's a powers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, back in the day, he had all of it. And, you know, I mean, Hasbro's been hyping him up. He's he's coming back to the show. Like, I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's going to be him. But on that off chance, it wasn't. Like, could you imagine his face if, like, they sent him one? He's like, yeah, it's the. What the fuck? Like, I. I. I don't know. I would just die laughing. Yeah, the the triplets were going on about how Shuki, but apparently you can't believe anything Shuki told you. Not not collector Shuki, the other Shuki. Um, I don't think you can you can really believe much of what uh, what 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 he was saying. So let's go real quick. So what what we're talking about the Zeo Gold Ranger with Jason's uh, helmet. Wave 5 is going to have kind of the same uh, setup. It's going to be 3 two, two, one, as most of the Lightning Collection ones have been. I'm glad that they kind of removed that 3-3-1-1. Three, three, one, one. I uh, wasn't a fan of that. This is the one. It's always the short-packed one, right? It's always the short-packed one that you're just like, I gotta have it. And that, for me, is Ranger Slayer. That is right, guys. Fall, sorry, June 2020. Slotted Wave 5 is slotted for a June 2020 release. 
Zeo Gold Ranger, two per pack. Time Force Red Ranger, MMPR Blue Ranger is going to be two per pack. And, uh, sorry, Time Force Red is going to be the three per pack one. And then Ranger Slayer is going to have one. That is going to be a all of these, they're, they're just so good. They're just so good. And I, I want all of them. So, top one, if you can only get one Lightning Collection figure from Wave 4 and Wave 5, what would it be? And then just how many are you actually going to get? Because in Wave 4, remember, Zeo Blue, SPD Red, Beast Morphers Blaze, Beast Morphers Cyber Villain Blaze, and Mighty Morphin Yellow. I'm going to pick one. I know, I know, I know. Or from Wave 5, or and from Wave 5, Zeo Gold, Time Force Red, Mighty Morphin Blue, and Ranger Slayer. For me, if I only had to, got to pick one, I would get Yellow Ranger because I have to... All of them. Yeah, that's all we're going to get. Um, <sighs> wave 4 for me has to be Mighty Morphin Yellow. Because I told myself I'm getting all of the Mighty Morphin ones, regardless. Because I don't actually have, like, I have my old figures from when I was a kid, you know, like the 9-inch ones. Um, but I didn't, I didn't buy, like, the Legacy coll uh, collection or anything, so I don't really have, like, a proper figures. Well, now, I mean, I guess now, now I do with my pops, but, um, so I was like, this is a good thing for me. I didn't buy all the fig works, I didn't, but I was like, for $20 a piece, for a piece of good, his, you know, history, and for me, you know, my childhood and stuff, like, I really wanted to get those, so I have to get yellow, and I have to get Ranger Slayer. I, wait, what happened to blue? B Billy was, I'm sorry, Billy. Okay, no, for real, so I'm totally getting, um, from Wave 5, MMPR Blue, Ranger Slayer, probably... Time for us, Red, maybe, and it might, honestly, it is just going to depend, one, you know, on how much money, I think it's for all of us, how much money do you have at the time, you know, when you actually can get it, and, uh, two, how good his head looks, it might be for me for Wes, also, during Family Feud, the question was, what ranger would you most want to kiss, and I said Wes, and he wasn't on the board, and I, <sighs> no, Billy will be in Wave 6, it's good, no, Billy is in Wave 2, or Wave 5, but I can't, no, I'm totally going to get them. And then, uh, SPD Blue, probably just going to, probably a pass for me. I just, I have to cut where I can, you know, for money. And it, there's just nothing really about Rocky or whatever that, like, speaks to me. So that, to me, is kind of a, meh. Um, SPD Red Jack, I, I really do want Jack. Blaze has a bajillion, um things that come with them, so I would also kiss the font, I think anybody, I literally think Jason Font could be up there, and, and they would be like, you have to kiss him, and I'm pretty sure 99% of the people in that building would say yes, and I'm not saying 99% of the women, I just mean 99% of the human beings in that room, I don't care what affiliation you are, I'm pretty sure you would kiss Jason Font, that man is beautiful. Hi, Darren. A Squad Blue. What? Who's A Squad Blue? What? I have no idea. I think the A Squad would be fantastic. Um, <laughs> I just escaped again. No, Jason Rickle. Give me Omega Red. That would be cool. Give me cool. I have no idea. Actually, there are. As of right now, I have no uh, rumors or rumblings for what's going to be happening in. Uh, Excuse me, in wave six. So that's kind of meh right now. Um, I don't actually, excuse me, I had a picture and I just don't have it up. It's just a quick bit of news, but the Beast X Ultra Zord has been nominated. Oh, wait, okay. Can I find a picture? Because I'm not that lazy. Am I that lazy? No. Oh, it froze up. Whatever. Um, <laughs> give me Phantom Ranger or cancel the line. Dude, you're getting so many Gold Rangers, you're gonna drown in them. I had a picture of the Beast X Ultra. It's, it's not the Ultra Zord, like the $160, uh, Beast X Ultra Zord. It's, like, the $30 or $40 version of it, but it has been nominated for Action Figure of the Year for, uh, in advance of Toy Fair 2020. So, this is the finalist for the 2020 Toy of the Year. 
it's going against some really good competition, um, like in Toy Story and Marvel Legends and, and stuff like that. So he's gonna, he's, he's got a little competition, but you know what? If, uh, I, I don't think, like, we can vote at all, uh, or maybe I'll have more information on you if we do, but yeah. Toy of the Year Awards. Good luck, Power Rangers. In convention news, Ranger stop happened. And I've been telling you guys a lot of bits and pieces and stories about that. But I'll, in, in, under convention news specific, if somebody actually just came here and wasn't listening to anything else, I will say this. Ranger Stop was one of the best ran, easygoing, happy, just smooth con uh, conventions. It was great. Um... They knew when, and I think they even opened up registration or getting their stuff, like, early, just because they were already set up. Like, yeah, because I think it was two, but people were already getting them at one, just because they were ready. They were prepared, um, like, for my badge. They were all labeled, like, they were just prepared, and it was so well done. Um, the, the hall, you know, was crammed. It was, it was just... It was so much fun. The panels were great. The guests they brought were great. Um, and it really just, it was way more community. And the fact that it was in a resort was nice because when you wanted to step out, there were some nice areas. There were two people under the pool. Some of, you know, like the rangers um, were using the gym. I don't really know how many other people were using the gym, but the, the rangers used the gym. Uh, but it was just a, a beautiful area. It was really close to everything. We just walked to Wawa to get food. You could walk to McDonald's. You could walk to some nice sit-down restaurants. Uh, it just had a little bit of everything for everyone. And after, I mean, I think it was Friday night, we were all just sitting here like we were expecting things to to, to be hindered. We were expecting lines to be crazy and everything. And it, it wasn't. We just, it just worked. And it was really smooth. And, you know, to a ranger stop, they gave me my opportunity to, for my first ever press badge, and I got to be on a panel, um, I, I, well, I managed, it wasn't really, like, their doing or anything, but I, I won stuff, you know, um, but yeah, I, I had an absolutely great time, and guys, if you're on the fence at all about going to a ranger stop, I cannot recommend it enough, I wish them the absolute best of luck, and I hope I get to go every single year. Whew. Uh, no, I didn't get a chance to talk to Glenn. I got a chance to hear him talk and listen to his accent, but I did not get to actually talk to him. Guys, we finally did it. We're on to some writer news. In writer news, we're not, I'm not even taking my break. Like, we gotta go. We've already been at this an hour and 12 minutes. Zach! Zach, hi. What's up? Welcome. I hope you had a great time. Sorry, our last message got cut off. Uh, those killed on the creator's panel. No, not even, like, thanks, man. Uh, hey, that Power Rangers guy has it up on their page. If you want to check it out, but... Oh, yeah, 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 Smooth Hot Lake. Yeah, the fire alarm got pulled, but there are other conventions going on, so you can't even be like, well, someone from Ranger Stop, like... <clears throat> like, anyone, like, anybody could have did it, but, uh, but yeah, that was it. Fire, Friday Night Fire Alarm. Other than that, none. And they handled it great, too. They they kept you calm. They told you exactly where you needed to go. It was great. Um, uh, Alejandro, Liz, uh, let me apologize for you, too, because they sure as hell ain't going to do it. <sighs> Thanks. I'm so, so sorry, you guys. Thank you very much. We're, uh, we're going to fight through, you know? Fight through. What, uh, what do you do? What, what does a ranger do? Other than not letting anyone in the circle or letting go of their weapons. Ranger doesn't give up, so. Whew. Not giving up yet. Not with that fight. Or I'll just move to Twitch. Um, appreciate it, man. This doesn't mean anything to me, but the fact that it hurts some friends. Liz, hard question for you. Uh-oh. I'm getting ready to talk about Kamen Rider DX and out, you know, so. Rangers together, always and forever. Oh. That's tough. That's really tough. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pull up this this uh, this photo that is not actually the one that's on display because I don't have that picture. If you take the official merchandise out of PMC, 
Like no no exclusive toys, no nothing, you know, and it's just just it. So so in that extent, I will also remove all exclusives from Ranger stuff. There were some exclusives. I will allow me one moment. I'm not kidding you. You guys remember in my in my things where I was like, I am unashamed unashamedly excited for this tote. Oh my god, this thing is great. Like it was the perfect size to hold like comics and autographs. It had this front little grab patch right here, snapped up top, so you can't just like out where you know someone can't grab it real quick. Oh dude, shout out Ancient Warriors right here. Uh, and it's a thing. I it was five dollars, and it might be like like one of the best five dollar things I've ever bought in my life but I have to take it out of the equation and the next year cast reveal <sighs> who has a better show well I'll tell you well BMC's tough because I had a vendor badge so I didn't have to deal with all that stuff I didn't have nearly the hard time for general Joe Schmo Ranger Stop was if you want to just go have fun meet rangers hang out with fellow fans if you just want to have a really awesome time Rain ranger shop was great um but pmc is huge you know it's it's got every actor you could want it's well <laughs> as long as they're not for the disney earth they but they get a ton of actors you know they're paying they have a lot more panels um, just because there's more actors and stuff, so that's really hard, and I think it depends what you want to get out of a con. I really enjoyed this year. I hit up way more panels than I think I ever have, because they were new actors and stuff, but I gotta tell you, if it comes down to it, if I have to make a choice in 2020, do I go to Ranger Shop, or do I go to Power Morphicon? It might come down to money, but I might pick Ranger Shop. And Pop, because that's in June. Or, the other one's in November. I don't know. See so you, Ranger Stuff 2020. I know it's a but the thing. Look, they. I don't know. Maybe it'll be ran better this year. Uh, the ticket situation certainly didn't help them already getting started. So, that's. I mean, they're like, no, we're not gonna give you one day notice. No, it won't be on the first. BT Dubs tickets go on sale in 12 hours. Pocket <laughs> say. So yeah, that's why I didn't. Like, I ain't buy my tickets yet. I might end up at TwitchCon. I don't know. Maybe I'll be a Twitcher by then. A Twitch, what do, what do, because YouTube is YouTuber. What do you, a Twitch, a streamer? What do people call people on Twitch? Um. <laughs> yeah, Twitch streamer, okay. Maybe I'll just be a Twitch streamer instead. Big have a Twitch pond. There we go. Maybe. I don't know. Um, blah, blah, blah. So basically, Bluefin said that you now have to give us all of your money and all of your paychecks if you want to clip this so they could use it for a promo. <clears throat> Another world news for writers. All hail Team Rider. Bluefin is now going to be bringing DX writer items to us, including the complete selection modification, double driver version 1.5, and the lost driver. There are some pictures if you want to go see them please check them out on twitch 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 twitter please cut that out of the clip twitter and uh i think maybe i found some on token nation i'm not sure but chris can correct me if i'm wrong on that one i have notes there are cut all of this out of the promo someone edit for me live this isn't live both drivers are on display at anime new york city if you want it's on token nation thank you thank you you kissy see So I always just chuckle because you like at some point you gotta be like, why am I listening to her just read the same damn news I've been talking about all week? Yeah, Token Nation and Deca Blue twenty five. I feel like I had that, like I had a link to his. Oh, I had it. No, I had it on other writer. Sorry, that's why I actually do have a link to the Deca Blue one. You'll see it whenever I post notes later tonight. Anywho, we're getting these, so please just start giving them all of your money. I already have the Zero One uh, SH Figuart pre-ordered from them. I'm not doing any of these belts yet. If they bring in the current season rider, not like, because you're fun. Oh, thank you. Thank you, man. I, re I really appreciate that. Um, drop, drop on the safe, blue finna token nation on Sunday. I'm excited. Um, I don't want to be like, oh, it has to be a current one, but 
money wise right now unfortunately double just isn't one that i would drop the funds on right now to get the csm version of um if it was like a sengoku driver or something that kind of already costs like 150 dollars uh on on the resale market or like yeah the gamer driver um if it was something like that that really has that high resale value i might drop some stuff i am so sorry all of my toys i've been watching toy story a lot lately with the kids and i feel really <laughs> so you feel like the toys are alive i'm just like looking straight and being like i might get rid of you no, I won't get her. Those those mean way too much for me for sentimental value. But yeah, I'm just like keep my Kiva figure is actually up really high. He's kind of staring down at all of them like all you bitches are gone. I ain't going anywhere. No, he's not. I actually thought about taking Kiva to uh, to Ranger Stop with me um, as a joke, and then I realized if something happened to him, I would die. I'm like mm, not worth it. Let's chat a little bit about zero one 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 I'm like three episodes behind now guys I'm like three episodes behind it's freaking me out uh so we got some awesome stuff actor uh Nachi Sakaguri who is not that driver right there guess give me da 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 Mm -mm. Nope, those are actually, you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna. Here it is. I just labeled it 01 New Actor. God, I have such great note taking skills, right? Uh, Nachi Suragachi is going to be joining the cast as Guy Amatsu, the CEO of Xena Enterprises. Uh, he already made an appearance earlier in the series, but at a, as a shadowy figure who's working with Aims uh, Yaiba. So, yeah, he's finally gonna make his full appearance in the show's 10th episode, which aired this week, which I haven't gotten a chance to watch yet. So, yeah, his true goals are yet to be revealed. So, sweet, new guy in Zero One. Maybe Sunday I can... I don't know. I tweeted out a YouTube link with the intro to Zero One. Senpai is watching. Maybe, maybe Senpai is watching. Senpai noticed me? No. Senpai noticed me? No, no, no. Okay. Did that. So this guy is uh, is coming here. And then we also have some guest stars up for the Reiwa, the first generation. Uh, two guest stars. I have former Nagazaka46. I'm assuming that is an idol group. Um, Rina, I <laughs> Rina Ikoma. And then in parentheses it says Corpse Party. So if, um, yeah, if you can see, do you want to, I'm very confused on that one. Um, so she's going to be in there. She's going to be a time jacker. And then we're going to have Asoku Wada is going to be Will, the personal secretary of Hidden Intelligence, former president. So these guys are going to be coming back up again, coming out in December. Oh, that's her movie credits. Gracias. I was like, is that her group? Like, was that her stage name? Was Corpse Party? Because I was, I was, re again, sometimes whenever I read things, they don't fully make sense to me until I try to read them out loud, and I go, I don't know what I was saying. Yeah, that is coming out on December 21st, and of course we'll be seeing it a few months later when it's released on Blu-ray with, I'm sure, a very expensive toy that will be attached to it. Got some stuff for the DX Gatling Hedgehog. I like anything involving hedgehogs. And random, this is, yeah, a really random question in chat. Did you guys see the Sonic the Hedgehog movie? And did you go, that looks really good. Like, that just looks fun. It just looks silly. As, as a Power Ranger fan, you know, we kind of have to appreciate the, the sillier things, you know, in life. And, uh, and I'm like, oh, no, that looks great. That looks great. Dude, this thing's name is Gatling Hedgehog. Okay, so we got it. Uh, it's going to be limited to only 3,500 copies. Pre-order, it's going to be what we get. Um, I'm sorry, my eye was itching, and I, I could not get, like, I could not think straight until I scratched it. But it's what's going to be happening for the movie. So pre-order tickets to the movie, 35,000 copies of it. It's going to be only-ish, 3,100 yen. Um... But you do get a ticket to go into the movie with it. So you get a movie ticket and you get your toy for uh, 3100 yen. So 
that again, December 21st. Next key set that is coming out is the Zetsumarize key set. Let me close that real quick. Zetsumarize key set. So this is an April 2020 release, a premium Bandai web exclusive. 6,600 yen pre-orders, I believe, are available right now, but they are going to be ending on January 8th. So at least take a look at that if you want. Uh, it's going to be used by the Berserk Human Gear. Which ones we got? Baratha, Echo Magia, Kuhei, and Niohai. Echo. I don't know. I like the Magia. Magia, I don't know. I like that. Um, I forgot how the old Sonic design looked, so I decided to look, and damn, he looks uglier than the last time. I can't... It was nuts, man. The surgery was undone successfully. Sonic was crazy. It was like... I remember when I watched it the first time, and I'm not, like... Like, I'm not a Sonic fan. I didn't have, I didn't have Sega grow up. Like, I never watched Sonic. I mean, I, I think I remember, like, watching the cartoons a little bit, you know, like, flipping through the channels. I remember he had a strangely strong, strong love for chili dogs. Um, but other than that, like, I watched the trailer, and I'm like, I don't know much about Sonic, but this doesn't feel like Sonic. This just feels weird. Watch the new trailer, and I'm like, okay, I probably would see this. <laughs> this looks pretty fun. This looks pretty fun. Um, John Toy. Oh, I was saying John Toy. I was like, John Toy has no control over a writer. Never mind. Um... Yeah, yeah, so this guy, uh, 6,600 yen, again, April 2020 pre-order is going to be ending on January 8th. We also did get some stuff and did, uh, grab that Shining Hopper picture. No, I'm sorry, I didn't. Getting, uh, getting some stuff done, the kiddo and whatnot, family time. Did not get that one done, I apologize. Um, it's going to be coming out on, uh, November 23rd, 2,300 yen. Did get some pictures of it. Go check out. The link which will eventually be below and you can see another picture of it but this guys this is the one that i freaked out about and i think and, and the thing is because i didn't do a ranger week review last week i know some of this news to you maybe like a week or so late um but the fact that i can become a human gear makes me very excited and i kind of really really want this it is going to be a premium bandai web exclusive of course 5,200 yen set for a March 2020 release. Pre-orders are going to be ending very soon, November 25th, if you want to get in on that. So November 25th, March 2020 release, premium Bandai Web exclusive, 5,200 yen. Um, and it does come with some seals also, like the scanny thing, so you can put them anywhere uh, you would like. That works probably for your cosplay or so. Um, item has over 40 different kinds of dialogue and voice recordings. It's going to have, like, blue lights, but then it'll set to extinction mode. It's going to have some red lights. It's, it, this thing is great. Please check out the link. Uh, you can see it, and you'll find a lot more photos and be able to get some more information on it. Um, <laughs> this is the point of my notes where I talk about the... Uh, Double driver on display. Thanks, Deca Blue. Um, and we already talked about that, so let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Sentai news. We don't have any. Wow, that's sad. We literally don't have Sentai news this week. Let's talk about Ultraman news real quick. Uh, Ultraman, hey, Jeed and Orb. I did mention that. The series and movie are both coming out next week. Be on the lookout of that. You can get them. Thanks to Mill Creek. Uh, you can go ahead and pre order from them. Um, I know they're up on Amazon. I'm not sure where else. I'll have some links momentarily and you yourself can get those pre-ordered i i just want to support them like it, this is crazy the fact that we're getting ultraman in the u.s like it, it's just it's a really cool time to be i guess for as, as shitty as like youtube is right now at least as a fan at least you could say like as a fan it's a really good time like between the lightning collection and beast morphers being really good excuse me you know we know we have another Good, you know, we have another season of Beast Morphers coming. We know that's solid. Common Rider Toy is coming to America. Like, how great is that? Riders have been really hitting it lately. Um, I'm digging Zero One. Sentai, I'm loving too. Um, this stuff, I, I can't wait to catch up more on Nada again. I'm like three or four, I'm three episodes behind on it. Ultraman, we're getting some stuff in America. It's, yeah, it's a good time. It's a good time to be a fan, guys. So I hope, I hope something that I've mentioned to you in the future. I hope one of those things made you very, very happy. Uh, Ultra Galaxy Fight, New Generation Heroes Director's Cut. Um, it's going to compile all three... There we go. It's going to compile all, combine all 13... 
2018 that are going, uh, that are happening right now. Uh, even though the YouTube release has English subtitles, the home video release will not have any subtitles, so that's a little strange. Uh, it'll include scenes that haven't, uh, been posted on the normal YouTube one. Uh, premiere event on November 14th, which actually already happened. Whoops. Uh, it's going to be set for a February 27th release, and uh, they're going to be two different forms, a 3,800 yen and an 1,800 yen one. One last bit of fun news, and then we are going to kind of end it on a sad one, but then we're just going to go straight into like the uh, Q&A hangout for a little bit, um, just at the end, but really fun. So, Toei's Japanese Spider-Man. I know, there's some sad news. Like, people died. Um, it's not, like, bad, it's, it's not me, like, personally bad, like, you know, someone didn't do very well. Um, so, yeah, the, uh, <laughs> no, I never got any of the Ultraman Pop figures. I actually only owned one Pop, and, uh, it was before I won all of them, and that was this Rita Repulsa that I actually had just bought, like, two weeks ago. Uh, cause it was on clearance for like $8 or $7 or something. And I bought her. So I somehow over the course of two weeks have acquired like all the freaking Rangers and Rita. Um, after the release, blah, blah, blah. Japanese Spider-Man is coming to Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. That's, that's the, that's the moral of that entire story that took way too long for me to get through and. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. There he is! There he is. Uh, looks like Witch Pandora from G-Ranger. <gasps> we don't really know anything more about that. But he has been designed for the film, and it is going to be coming out April 8th of 2020. Uh, that was one thing. It was like, into the spider Are they going to include it? Are they going to include it? I don't know. And I'm not really a Spider-Man fan myself. Yeah. But I am super glad they did for all of those fans out there. And let me get rid of that and that real quick. So two sad pieces of news. I did cover one of them earlier um, today. Let me go ahead. I want to make sure I have, have all of this right. Um, here we go. We actually uh, unfortunately had two losses in the toku world uh this week jin uh, nakayama he played he was an ultraman 80 he played captain uh kazakuri oyama he unfortunately passed away at the age of 77 he's on the bottom he was an ultraman 80 uh he passed away due to lung cancer uh we actually did not know about this he actually passed away on october 12th and had a uh, private you know funeral take place and it was about a month after he passed that they actually announced that he passed. Uh, and the other actor who left us far too young is on the top there, and that is Yukihiro Takaguchi. He was in Kamen Rider Drive. He passed away at the age of 34. They're saying the cause of death was heart failure. He was battling heart failure. Um, and he just passed away on November 13th. He uh, was in Kamen Rider Drive. What you would mostly know him for um, was that uh, when he was in it, I'm yeah, he played uh, Ariaki Hayasi, and, uh, and yeah, sorry, especially this uh, Hayasi. He was uh, Shinosuke's partner um, in the Global Freeze incident whenever crazy time got stopped and then the bullet, and I mean, like, no spoilers or whatever, but he gets very injured, causing a lot of distress and stuff uh, for Drive. So he was in about six or seven episodes, but had a very integral part of our character development uh, for Drive. And uh, he unfortunately left us at the age of only 34. Uh, my condolences to all of their families and token nation. Yeah, uh, spare a thought if you can for, for two fallen heroes in the world of tokusatsu. And on that very sad note, I'm going to... Oh, that was a thing for Spider-Man 2020. Uh, I will, I guess, kind of say, let's hang out for a little bit, and I will, yeah, if you guys have any, like, questions, or if you want to hear any more, like, crazy stories about Ranger Stop or whatever, but how about I give this just another, like, ten minutes, let's just do a little chat, say hi, everyone, um, 
Pokemon Sword, do not have Sword or Shield. I'm actually more of like a trading card game one. I haven't played many main series games. I just like, like, I like Pokemon. I like kind of watching the anime. I like the card game. I like all the characters and, like, learning about them, but I don't really play the game specifically, which I know is really strange. I play, like, all the subsidiary games that involve all of the Pokemon. What was the worst thing about Ranger Stop? I will tell you, without a doubt, the absolute worst thing about Ranger Stop was that I left my favorite pair of flats in my hotel room. Favorite pair. Fit me great. Had them for a year and a half. Loved those shoes. Left them in the hotel room. Oh, I don't actually think, I honestly got my, uh, what was bad about Ranger Stop? Ah, uh, I don't know, I mean, it's maybe more signage for the fan panel room? Uh, oh, the dinner was, the, the dinner was good, like, it was juicy, it was fine, it was tasty, but the dinner, I'm pretty sure the menu was created by all of those Ranger Fit people, because it was, like, grilled chicken and veggies and rice and a salad, and I'm like, I'm on vacation right now, guys, come on, come on, um, no, man, actually, I, was it crowded? No, it was, it was, a, it was a solid crowd, you could you could walk from point A to point B without feeling like you were going to get, like, crumbled by people. Um, but it wasn't, I mean, there were slow parts, yeah, like with anything when, I know, I mean, he's looking at the panel lines for the ones, like, shifting to Zio and stuff. Yeah, the floor got a little lighter when the main panel room is whatever, but, yeah. Um, <laughs> Sean remembers me talking about those, do I love those shoes? You have no idea. I'm, I'm very, I was very sad about that. Would you like to see a Netflix original Shattered Grid show? I don't care if it's live action. I don't care if it's animated. I don't care if it's string puppets. I would watch it in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. Favorite panel. Uh, it's going to be tied. My top two, I'll tell you, is the Disney era panel and the John Tui panel. But I will tell you this. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to go with the Disney era panel. It was my first one. I was at four. And when I eventually get to show you guys all my footage, you'll realize that something actually really stuck with me with it. And it was, um, you know, they're kind of just talking about, like, living in the moment and stuff. And I'm trying to vlog, and I'm trying to whatever, and I'm trying to get, like, a bunch of stuff together and thinking about content for the entire weekend. And and John Tui just kind of had this, like, just just live in the moment. Just just stop. Just live in the moment. We're all here together. You know, we're from all over or whatever. And, or maybe that's at least what I took out of what he was saying. He is a very profound speaker. Um... But it really stuck to me, and I actually took, you know, a lot less footage than I thought I would for the rest of the weekend because I just told myself, put the phone down, put my camera down, just live in the moment, just appreciate being here, you know, appreciate chatting to rangers and having this opportunity. And, you know, when I did the, the family feud, yeah, I was taking some videos and stuff because it was funny. I actually have a fantastic selfie of me and Catherine Solderland, and I think Nikia, it's either Nikia or this, or I don't know, but... I have to look. I haven't gotten through a lot of my footage yet, but yeah, I really just try to enjoy, I just try to enjoy the moment, and so that Friday panel was what kind of sparked that in me, so that would definitely be my favorite one. Or am I doing more videos? I am doing more videos. Can't stop me. <coughs> they can find me, <coughs> monetize me, and throw me in jail, but they, wait, that would totally stop me. I don't know. I'm not planning on stopping. That's the moral of the story. Who would win? Dino Thunder Yellow, RPM Yellow, or Beast Morphers Yellow? Uh, as much as I love Summer, RPM Yellow I don't think is going to stand much of a chance because they have accentuated powers. And I mean, Summer's badass, don't get me wrong. Uh, I don't know. Would the flying outdo the Jackrabbit powers? Would Summer just be that badass that she would take him out anyway? I'm going to go with Dino Thunder Yellow, because she'll just keep yelling, and Zoe can't get close to her. Meow Ranger Shattered Litter Box. Do you know that YouTube marks my Meow Rangers review is made for children? You tell me what 10-year-old wants to watch me review the Meow Rangers book with my cat on the floor. Okay. Tell me anybody who wants to watch that. I'll tell you someone.
Yeah. I think Ghost Hay coughed. Yeah. That's, uh, that's not Troy. He's, he's not Troy. He's made it very, very obvious. He is Captain Marvelous. I want to see Yellow Beast, Beast Morphs for now. That's cool. That would be right. Oh. <clears throat> excuse me. So out of the 23, I can give you, man, I can give you a, excuse me, a top 10 USA only Ranger suits. Boom. I love Boom. I love the Jungle Fury Masters. Those are, those are top. Titanium oddly doesn't do too much for me. Sorry. Um, yeah, I think those, those are probably some of my tops. And I'm sure there's a lot more that I'm just not thinking of right now, like American exclusive ones. Um, yeah. Uh, earlier, I see my three-year-olds enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we discussed Legacy Wars. Who would you want in battle for the crit? Um, who has, like, a fun power? Or just a different, like, weapon or ability or something? Um, first off, I want to see common riders. <laughs> so they have rider kick. I love Jungle Fury. Jungle Fury, I really, I got to meet Algen, and I am an idiot and didn't, like, steal the picture off of his Instagram story. Uh, maybe Larry, no, Larry's not here. Um, maybe Orange Ranger did, I don't know. Uh, he was so ridiculously sweet and nice. It was fantastic meeting him. Um, yeah, it was good. I do not have, um, the Season 2 DLC. I barely get a place. <laughs> I don't get a play at all. No, I don't have him yet. Um, who would I like to movie? I want, like, a season they haven't done. Obviously, um... I like Dino Charge, so of course I probably go with like a season I like, like RPM or Dino Charge. Um, Ziggy would just be funny because he's a wackadoodle character. Um, I can get that for you, yeah. I didn't meet him. <laughs> I got so caught up in doing other stuff. Swear to God, Rosado. Um, I was I was by him. I was interacting with him, and uh, and I just never. Never actually met him. Like, I don't know. Did any of that. Ziggy's in Legacy Wars, not Battle for the Grid. Um, yeah. But it was... It was a blast. But no, I actually did not meet Brenda Mejia, which is crazy. But I just went with it. I think my my motto was just, like, say yes. Just go with it. Don't be, I have to do this and that and whatever. Like... I just kind of said, I'll go, I'll run with it and I'll just, I'll go wherever the wind takes me. And I think I had an absolutely amazing time, um, just saying yes to everything and that, um, to most things, I will say there was definitely some things I said no to. Would you like this? No, thank you. Uh, let me blah, 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 getting confused. I am going to toss a link down guys. It is going to be, um, under the... Uh, there's a link to Extra Life, to Hasbro Toys on Amazon, uh, merch, and then there will be a link to a YouTube channel. I'm gonna put... There we go, because that is where I am going to be heading in a bit. It will update uh, in just a second. You might have to refresh. But I... <laughs> but yes, I will have a link if you want to go check it out. I'm going to be moving over to RRR The Street. Gracias. Oh my god, this feels so good. And I'm going to be... Thank you, Coffee and Gose. Oh, he's my Captain Marvelous. If there was one deceased ranger I could meet, who would it be? Uh, Peter Ruder. Udana. I would love to ask her about her classical e-training, like, acting and stuff, and what that meant, like, bringing it into, uh, bringing it into Power Rangers and stuff. Um, that love, that motherly role, that everything that she brought to Mystic Force means a lot to me. So... Hi, Ernie. Oh, that's good. Everybody say hi, Keith. Hi, Keith. Oh, I mean, Tweet, yeah, that's, uh, I don't, they would be, they would be all amazing. <laughs> I'm lucky, though, because I have, like, 
a lot of my friends that were hanging out with, like, they've all met Keith online and stuff, so I always felt very, very safe, um, at Ranger Stop, because I always knew my, I always knew my Ranger family was with me, as we say, we're a family, and sometimes that means a lot when you're a 5'2 girl walking in the dark, you know, from place to place, it's really nice to, uh, even Power Rangers like to feel the safety of groups in numbers, and that felt me really good, uh, that felt really nice, and yes, Orange Ranger, remember, um, I have just had this weird thing about me my entire life, where I just kind of find myself in situations, and I just roll with it, and, um, as I, as I told Orange Ranger, you stick with me, and weird shit's probably gonna happen, and, uh, and he's two for two on conventions and meeting me on weird shit happening, hanging out with just, I randomly will find myself in a situation with a ranger actor, just chatting. Chatting about life, chatting about whatever. Nothing, not fancy, not even about rangers. Just chatting about life. I chatted to uh, uh, Melody Perkins walking from one end because she got kind of uh, confused where she was in the hotel after exiting a, the breakfast. And I was like, ah, it's, it's, come here. So we're just chatting about, like, the beautiful Florida weather and how we, it was just like, I don't know, it's random stuff. Is the most fun to talk to. I would totally, I would love to talk to Paula Schreer more. But okay, here it is, guys. I'm going to go ahead and cut this. It is a bit after 10 my time. I'm going to just try to chill, relax the rest of the night. But I did put a link down below to uh, RRR Infinity if you would like to go give them a little bit of love. I'm going to, nope, that is their chat. I'm not going to put their own video right that works, right? Because I'm a mod, so, like, I can post my own links, right? Awesome. So there's a link if you want to go. Go tell them Ranger Liz sent you. Go say hi. Just spread the love and, and positivity. I think we all need it right now. And if you are still at the end of the video, thank you so much. I love you all. Please give this video a like. And, you know, because who knows how much longer we're going to be able to chat. May the power protect all of you guys. Mwah. I love you. Too close.